welcome to Two for Tuesday, where I take one ingredient and use it for two reasons. My name is Sarah Manoretti, and welcome to my kitchen. Well, the holidays are over, even though our Christmas tree is still up. It's all right, right? So it's been a crazy time of year for us, and I'm sure it has been for you. And I don't know about you, but I kind of went over the deep end at Christmas time and just kind of ate whatever I wanted to. And I'm kind of paying the price for that now because um, my pants just don't fit as well as they used to. So I personally have gone on a detox. Um, it's really basic, basic clean eating for three days. And uh, my family is not joining me on this. I have no idea why. But one of the things that I get asked all the time, you know, as a mom and you're trying to eat better, but I mean, your eight year old probably doesn't need to go on a diet or a lifestyle change or anything like that, right? So how do you incorporate um, healthy and clean eating so that you're not making like 20 different kinds of dinners at night because honestly who has time for that so my secret to that is actually is that I use the word coordination so usually what I do is I will coordinate um, the foods that I'm eating within my kids and my husband's eating as well so for example I'm going on a cleanse I have a very strict recipe that I need to stick with it has it's a stir fry which is fabulous it has green beans and red bell peppers uh, carrots uh, garlic salt and vegetable broth and some fresh ginger um, what's really easy is that my family can have a protein with this right so pick shrimp or chicken beef uh, pork whatever your family likes to eat you make that the protein you share the vegetable part of it. Um, I made enough for me and my husband. My kids might try the carrots. They're still not great at eating their vegetables and that's okay, we're working on it. Um, really easy, just stir fry the, uh, the garlic and the ginger and some olive oil. Then um, you're gonna add in all your veg and a little bit of chicken bro uh, vegetable broth just to um, help loosen it up. Add a little bit of salt. This is gray salt, my favorite kind of salt to cook with. Um, and then I'll add some pepper to it too. So that's one kind of stir fry. And then for them, I'll have rice noodles or brown rice or whatever kind of rice they feel like having. So it's not necessarily like making five different meals here. We're making one and I'm just eating one component of it because I'm on the cleanse, but I'm not gonna make them something completely different. That's ridiculous. Um, I have another stir fry because I know some kids don't like ginger. Mine are starting to get used to the flavor. They like it in certain dishes. This one, it's hit or miss. Um, but I have another great stir fry uh, that I'll have posted the recipe for that as well. It uses different vegetables, a little bit of a different oil that I use for that. And um, it's delicious and it really helps your kids um, get used to some certain flavor profiles that you might want to try and be a little bit more adventurous on. Like that one uses sesame oil rather than um, just some olive oil. So um, those are two great recipes that really help you coordinate um, healthy living and it also exposes your kids and maybe your more picky um, significant other to try some things that they've never tried before. So I hope they become regulars at your dinner table and I will talk to you later. Bye.